Hi, my name is Jonathan. Hi, my name is uh, Yasha Bhatia. Hi, my name is Nidhi. My name is Nathan. Uh, my name is Joyce Slew. Hi, my name is Anu. Uh, hi, I'm Aaron. I left him at a Greyhound station west of Santa Fe. Um, I think of uh, panic because usually it means that something's going to go wrong or it's some um, unknown that you're not aware of. How say uh, people standing on a cliff, uh, people do skydiving, people do deep ocean dives. A uh, negative effect? I think for the, for the project, it will like, us waste a lot of money and also will maybe extend the duration of the project. Okay, the first thing that comes to my mind is uncertainty. And then I will think about something negative like loss or problems. Um, so I think whenever I hear the word risk, the first thing that would come to my mind would be any uncertain event or any challenge that we would come across in a project. I think risk is an opportunity to take you above major prosody. So if you do and manage the risk well, you might do beyond what is needed. And if you don't uh, plan the risk, you might actually fall. So risk is an opportunity as well as a threat at the same time. Canyons that'll never fade away. The ballads in the bar room left by the brainstorming is the most effective? Uh, for me, I think brainstorming is pretty effective ways because we can like collect all the like, uh, uh, experience from the, each individual and we can know and then we can maybe do something for this uh, risk man for do something for maybe make, it, make it a risk man well, I think talking to the team members and uh, having brainstorming sessions is something that helps to discover risks which the person individually cannot find about the project because you might not be aware in it in the days. So uh, talking to the team members and the stakeholders and identifying the risks is the best thing. In my opinion, probably brainstorming would be one risk management technique would, uh, which would be most effective because I think uh, everyone sits together and they all give their ideas. So we would actually come to know the opinion of everyone in the team. So I think probably that would be the most effective. I think the, like the fishbone or decision tree will be helpful. Uh, I would say use the very sophisticated uh, statistical math, uh, calculations to predict the uh, the likelihood of the event happening in the future? I think it's definitely uh, making sure that you plan for it ahead of time. So going through all the different uh, risk um, analysis tools and brainstorming all the different things that could happen that you might know of or might not know of. I think it's really important to just get in front of it as soon as possible. I will absolutely choose 10. 8.59. For me, from my personal perspective, maybe it will be around 8. Uh, I think it's a 9. I would say like 15, 15 out of 10. I think it's super important. It's one of the most important parts of project management because you can do everything right, but if you don't have good risk management, your whole project will fail. Cool. Thank you, Joyce. Yeah. No problem. Hi, can you please tell us your name? Can I get my lawyer first before I talk to him?